You know what I'm realizing? I'm realizing that a lot of people are confused and lost in this world because of their desires. They desire riches. They desire things that are not necessarily of God. And if they don't have those things, they don't feel good. And then they look at other people and they think those people desire what they desire. And it's not the case. Because you don't need those things to survive. The only reason why you need money to survive right now is because everybody's under slavery. You have all this concrete where the roses can't grow unless they find a way to creep its way through the concrete. Because somebody put that shit there. Somebody is trying to stop all the natural things that God has created. Somebody has, like I said before, all the trees are in slavery. I Meaning all the trees that produce fruit that you can eat, they're in slavery. They're on an orchard somewhere. You don't even have any room to really put a garden anywhere in these cities. you forced to go to the store and buy what these people have created. And nine times out of ten, it's something that's going to kill your ass if you eat it. All because we're living in Babylon. We're living in Babylon, and a lot of people act like they don't understand that. They want to show you the road to how to live in Babylon instead of showing everybody how to get the fuck up out of it. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, in order to solve this problem, everybody's going to have to let go of that goddamn money. You don't want to let go of that shit because you're fucking demon then gave you that money and you feel like that money has power when it's really not that money is your road to hell and that's if you have a soul because a lot of you motherfuckers don't have souls a lot of you motherfuckers are the demon you understand that a lot of you who think you are yourself you're not yourself you are a demon okay you're like a clone. You're like a, a creation that's not real. You weren't born with a soul. Somebody had to implant a soul into you. You understand that? So the things that you craving and everything that's so what you want is because of the demon that is in you. Okay? It's not because you're of God. It's not because God blessed you. It's because the demon that has been trying to control the earth has blessed you. Or you are the demon's worker. You are one of the demon's henchmen. You are a demon. You understand that? A lot of you motherfuckers who think you are real, you are not real. You don't have a pure soul. Meaning in your natural mind, when you think naturally, without having any other influences... You're thinking evil thoughts. You're thinking how to steal something. You're thinking about how to do harm to somebody. You're thinking about how you're so mad at somebody and you want to get revenge. That's all the thoughts that's going on in your mind. You're always thinking about fighting. You're thinking about you're in a war with somebody. You ain't in a war with nobody. You're blessed, right? You got your riches. You're so happy. So why are you worried about a war? You won, right? Haven't you won? Are you being tormented? You're being tormented on the low, and you're trying to drag other people into that. You're looking for other people who are soulless. Because those people who are soulless, they can still call God into them. They can still call Jesus into them. And they can be vessels for Jesus. They can be vessels for God. They can be vessels for an angel to come down here and operate and speak for God. But that's not what you're promoting. You're promoting the devil. You're promote, promoting demonic shit. And you act like you don't know what the fuck that is. And you're playing with everybody else. But you can't play with me. You can't fool me, okay? As I came from a real fucking bloodline, meaning the blood that's in my body, it's over 180,000 years old. It was on the planet before your fucking ass, you motherfucker, that's new, if you even real. Because clones can have bodies. Because if you a clone or you came from a clone family, your ass don't have no soul. That means you were created just to have a soul or something evil and planted in your ass. So when you get wiped off the planet, ain't nobody coming to save you. Because God really don't have to save you. 
If you're praying for God to save you, nine times out of ten, you're not of God because God is already saving his children off the gap, gate. Out the off the bat, God is already watching for his children when they're born with the spirit of God in them. They're already protected. It's you fucking demon motherfuckers that need somebody to save your ass. Cause you are doing shit you're not supposed to do. You're worshiping something you're not supposed to worship. You're desiring things that are of the devil and you know it. Especially for you black people. You're supposed to be so poor and ain't never had nothing. All of a sudden you get money and you're so happy. But you know the motherfuckers have been hoarding all the money. has been the motherfuckers putting your ass in slavery. So you just want something from the motherfucker that's been enslaving your ass. That's what your fucking ass get. And you knew you didn't have no business fucking trying to worship or uh, request those type of things in the first place. You knew it. And you know it now. But you're still doing what you're not supposed to do. I why some motherfucker need to just fall on their sword and get the fuck up out of here. If you're real. Like I said, somebody who's a tormented soul is somebody. Somebody then fucking call down a demon into their ass and they know it's against what their real um, desires. They know they're a child of God and got a motherfucker possessed or some shit by uh, following the ways of the world. Okay, I've realized that it's really becoming clear to me. A lot of motherfuckers is possessed and the reason why they're possessed is because they're not real anyways. You're not real if your ass got a demon in you, nine times out of ten, you not fucking real. You understand that? You're just a vessel for Satan, period, and his henchmen. So you men, you need to be thinking about that when you try to get with women. You need to be thinking about, is this bitch possessed or not? Look at her, look at her ways. Is she out fucking a million men? Why you want that type of woman around you? You want somebody that didn't lay down and let all kind of men uh, lay on top of them? What kind of children is you going to produce out this bitch? Think about that. You about to implant a baby into somebody that got a fucking 100,000 men that didn't laid up with them. And all these men are fucking disgusting motherfuckers. Because a real man ain't going to want to lay down with no demon bitch. Okay? You guys need to think about what the fuck you're doing with your life. And these women, too. But a lot of women, they're not really drawn to that unless they're a demon bitch. Meaning, a real woman with God in her, she's not going to be out here fucking all kind of men. Because she could be waiting on her husband. She could be waiting on somebody God sent. She's not going to be out here tossing her ass up on the damn internet. Putting her booty cheeks, spreading her fucking ass on the internet, showing her damn pussy lips and shit. That's demonic. Don't nobody need to see that. I know I don't. Every time I see somebody clapping their ass on the internet, it, it's, it's kind of disgusting. It's like, okay, that might be something you need to do for your man, but why are you got your booty on the internet? Why are you spreading your ass on the internet? Because they demons. And then you got the demon bitches that act like they're so goody-goody, like they don't do anything, or they may appear like they don't do anything, and the bitches is demons. They pussies as hell holes. You jump into that and you're going to go to a porter to hell. You got women out here as the gateway to heaven and you got ones out here as the gateway to hell. Okay, do you understand that? You get what you fucking got coming for your ass. And like I said, y'all need to be praying. Praying for forgiveness. You need to be repenting from your sins. Because you're still doing the same fuck shit. And you act like don't nobody see what you're doing. Or don't nobody know what you're doing. There's people out here that are worshiping Satan. What does that mean? That they didn't invite Satan into their life. And he is running their ass. Everything they do for when they get up and leave their fucking house. For when they get up in the morning, what they cook for breakfast where they go throughout their day, the routes that they drive on, because as they rolling around the city or doing whatever they do, they putting curses on people. They running throughout the city fucking with everybody. I don't care how good they look or how appear to be together and how much of a good job they have. These motherfuckers is rolling around putting curses on people. Okay? 
nine times out of ten, somebody that's of God is going to stick to themselves. And other people of God is going to be drawn to them. Anybody out here trying to run around, teach lessons to people, give, you know, all these self-help classes and shit, these people are demons. You don't need no self-help class on how to get your ass some money. We know the root of all evil is money. So somebody trying to teach you how to get some money, that means nine times out of ten, they warming your ass up to get possessed by a demon. Because once you get to a certain level of making money, you got, you got to have to start paying that demon back that your ass been worshiping on a low low and acting like you didn't know that was what the fuck was going on. So for all of you people who want to read the Bible and get all these stories out the Bible, you need to start with the basic lessons. Do good and good will follow. Now you motherfuckers don't want to do that. Okay? Think about that.